friends welcome back to the youtube channel so we are meeting after a long break so in this video we will discuss about the passing criteria of sppu examination because most of the students are having confusion regarding this mostly the fe and se students so in this video we will basically cover the three main questions that arises in the mind of the students so first is how to know your insem exam marks then what if i have scored less in in same examination and third question is how to maintain pointer or your cgpa cpa if you have scored less in the in same so all this confusion will be cleared in this video so stay tuned till the end of the video okay so before moving to the video if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel for more videos okay so let's move towards the video so to make your confusion clear i have created a table which will help you to understand the passing criteria for the spbo examination so here we have some seven cases and related to that we have the remarks that is pass or fail so in the first case if you have scored 30 marks in the insem examination basically your insem is for 30 marks based on the two units each unit is having 15 marks so if you have scored 30 out of 30 in your insem examination then you have to score at least 28 marks in your insem examination to get your results as passed in that particular subject if you have scored less than 28 marks, your results will be failed in that particular subject. Second case and third case are also similar to the first case where you have scored 20 and 15 marks. But in end same, you have to score minimum 28 marks to get your results as passed. In the case 4, we have if you have scored 12 marks in your end same examination and you have to score at least 28 marks in the end same so that it will make total of 40 and your results will be get passed in that particular subject so most of the students are having confusion in the case 5 or the uh, cases which are having marks less than 12 in the end same because most students consider that if they have scored less than 12 in the end same they'll get backlog or they fail in that particular subject but it is not the case that because if you even if you have scored less in the insem examination so you can consider the case 5 where we have scored 8 marks and then in insem you have to cover this marks whatever the gap you have between the 12 and the mark score so here we have scored the four less marks that is uh, the minimum marks you can say that is 12 for the insem even uh, but if you have but you have scored eight marks that is four less than the 12 so that 4 marks you have to cover in your NSEM examination. So in NSEM you have to score 32 marks. So that your total will be 40 and your result will be passed. And the case 6 which is the worst case that if you have scored 0 marks in your NSEM examination by any chance. Then you have to perform well in your NSEM examination. And you have to score at least 40. So that your result will be passed. And seventh case is that if you have scored zero in the NSEM examination, but you fail to perform well in the NSEM examination and score less than 40, that is 39, I have taken the example, then your result will be failed for that particular subject. So you have to take, uh, keep in mind two things that if you have scored 12 or more than 12, 12 marks in the NSEM, uh, NSEM examination, then you have to score at least 28 marks in the NSEM. And the second case is how many marks you get less than the 12 marks in the NSEM examination that much you have to score in the NSEM examination. Okay, So this is the passing criteria for your NSEM examination and NSEM examination of the SPB. So basically there is no passing criteria for the NSEM. You have, uh, the total marks of NSEM and NSEM uh, consider, are considered for your uh, passing uh, or the passing evaluation, right? passing or fail. So now the main first question is how to know your insem examination marks. So for this you have to connect or contact your subject faculty or examination control where you will ask them for your insem marks so that you will get an idea of how much marks are required for the insem so that you can start your preparation accordingly. Then second we have discussed this what if I have scored less in the insem examination so you have to uh, cover that marks in the NSEM and how to maintain pointer if you have scored less in the NSEM uh, obviously by performing well in the NSEM examination so that your pointer will not be uh, less or uh, will not fall okay, so you have to maintain your pointer around 8 or 7 plus 
that will be uh, helpful for your placements okay so in the next video we'll discuss about the practical confusion that most of the students are having for the final year uh, subjects that is deep learning okay so in this video we have covered this passing criteria and in the next video we'll discuss about the confusions regarding the practicals so if you have liked the video please hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos thanks for watching